All right. Good afternoon. Welcome back. Um, we briefly touched on a double bevel um, in the earlier video when I was talking about uh, hoes and shovels and stuff like that. Um, and the the double bevel, unlike the single bevel, is uh, broke down into two different parts. Um, you could look up bevels on on different cutting edges, and there's there's thousands of them. We're going to focus on just the straight flat. It's called a flat bevel, and it's a like I say, it's a double bevel, and it's it is almost a point, just straight up point. And then you have what's called the um, convex, which is where it's it's a little bit wider right before the edge, and it comes in. Now axes, depending on the type of axe, you could have either the convex or the flat. Uh, the flat is obviously easier to put into something because there's there's you're not worried about where that edge is coming in at. Um, you can use the same tools. You've got the the mill file, which is obviously very quick and perfect for doing this. Um, you would, uh, if I was going to sharpen that, definitely want to have your gloves on because if you slip, it's going to hurt. And you have I have a vise that turns, so I can actually get on the other side of my work because. Like I've said before, when you're doing this type of stuff, you want to work away from your body. Pulling into yourself, you, you may accidentally just bring your hand or your knuckles right over the edge, which would definitely not feel good. <clears throat> For sharpening the axes or the uh, or machetes, which also has a flat style um, double bevel edge, you can use any of the tools we've talked about before. Um, once again, my favorite, the little belt sander. It would it'd take short work of this. We'd be done in about two seconds. You could use the regular abrasives, two-sided abrasive stone. You need to use oil. The puck style, which I do not own, but they're very nice. Like I say, they're about this big. It's, it looks just like a hockey puck, only it's two-sided. Um, if you're going to use a stone, you want to do circular motions. You're kind of wasting your time just going one way. Do circular motions on the, on the tool until you get a nice, even edge. Then your final swipes, you want to join that all together with the stone in, in a forward motion. And then once you do that, just like in your other tools we talked about earlier, you want to take a fine, like a ceramic stone or a really fine, uh, fine stone or diamond stone, anything you've got that's really going to polish that edge up because it will make it last longer. Um, the other thing about axes and pretty much shovels or anything else, is if you use it for what it's intended, your edge will last you a long time. If I was to go out and start digging trenches with my axe instead of my shovel, I'm going to kill my edge. Your shovel is designed to do that, the axe is not. Granted, it may be a little bit quicker sometimes, but obviously you're going to just kill your edge. Um, so we talked about the axes. Um, now we can talk about machetes, um, gloves. Because uh, machete, machete, it's 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 a longer tool, and there's more of a chance for you to either grab it wrong or something, and you really want something to keep you from cutting your hands or your fingers. So um, with this one, I would probably use diamond or this, and with this, like I say, put a drop of oil, and you would just start from one end to the other. I've, I've got this one chucked up, so I'm gonna have to start on this end, but about right here, circular motion. Now, see, there's a little bit of flex. You don't want to be pushing on it to where you're flexing the whole thing. If you're pushing that, you're just doing it too hard. The stone will do the work. So the other, the other thing you, you don't want to do with a thinner blade like this is you don't want to push the edge so far to the other side that when you start sharpening the other side of your bevel, you're taking more metal off because all you're doing is reducing the life expectancy of your tool. So nice, even, slow, light, and you'll, you'll start to see it coming together. And the big thing with machetes, you're going to get a lot of nicks and stuff where you've where you've been chopping roots and you hit a rock or two. Try and get those nicks out, but don't necessarily go in deep to get them out. They'll eventually be sharpened out. Um, so just nice, slow, and steady. Keep adding the oil as you do this, and wipe your stone off every now and then because so your stone doesn't clog. Um, and then you would come back just like you did on everything else. On this one, I would probably take my fine flat stone because it's it's a much larger edge so I would put some oil on this and come back I've already got a nice clean edge all the way down and you would just 
all the way down the whole thing. And like I said, all that's doing is taking those fine lines out, cleaning that edge up so it lasts just a little bit longer. Um, and of course, like I say, this is a double bevel. So on this side, we're not coming flat. We're going to turn this around. And we're going to do exactly what we just did on one side on the other. So I'd chuck it up here. And I would start all over again doing the same thing. And like I said, if you get too overzealous, if you're pushing too hard, you're just going to push the edge that you started on this side back over. So you don't want to do that. And get a nice spine. Now, believe it or not, one of the best things to keep the edge on thin blades like machetes and, and pocket knives or yard knives um, is an old, just get you a regular, you can get a 399 steel, a kitchen steel. And what you can do is you can just work it just like you would um, if you were in the kitchen, coming down. And you want to do this every time you use it. And the reason being, edges on thin bladed knives, all they do, they don't dull per se, they roll. And what I mean is this is a sharp knife, and then the edge starts to do this at the top. It starts to roll as you're using it. Now, um, if you come in with a stone, because it's every time it does that, you're going to take that off. You've just lost that much of your blade. If you take your steel and you work the steel, that steel takes that edge that's rolled and pushes it back sharp again. And your knife will last a lot longer. I'm sure everybody here has seen their grandfather's pocket knife or something where there's just a finger left of that blade. It's so tiny. And that's because they're always using them on a stone constantly and instead of just hitting it on a steel every now and then. So you, you definitely want to think about that. It'll, it'll make your machete or your, your garden knife or your hori-cori or whatever you're sharpening. It'll make it last a lot longer. So that's about it.